Hello everybody, my name is Anthem, and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 New World Order as Germany. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, Norway and Denmark decided to go to war with Finland over the island of Alon so that they can become independent. I, I, I mean, I'll say yes. But... Like, why? I'm assuming Russia is not liked by these people. I actually kind of like my Lithuania. Poland, I need you to maybe give me military access. They will accept. So we're going to send in this terrible 36th act to go see Jan Osprusen. Don't remember exactly what the name of this area is. I think it's just called Collinsburg in real life. Okay, so we're going to definitely need to increase our spending on the military. I can't believe... Really, Norway? Like, really? I'm assuming we're the war leader now. Like, can we call him the United Kingdom? They will accept. So we'll call them in. I mean, we could just call in most of our allies. Most of our allies are actually just kind of terrible, aren't they? Is this even a port? I think it is. Yeah, we lost. Call for military aid in war. Sure, why not? Like, can we just not threaten to nuke the hell out of Russia? I mean, we have nukes. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, if we're in the nuclear club... Then I feel like we should just be able to be like, hey... I'll, I'll nuke the hell out of you if you don't stop this. But I guess we are the aggressors, aren't we? Okay, so the Russians are attacking us, but that's fine. Hungary we can put into our sphere, so we will absolutely do that. And if we call them into the war, that means Russia can't spear them at all, so... Oh, now the United Kingdom is the war leader. Eh, that's fine. The problem is that Germany just- or not Germany, Russia just has so many soldiers. They have 290 brigades, we have 162. You know, which isn't a lot. I mean, I'm surprised Russia isn't calling more people into the war. We have a 66 stack from F Finland. I mean, if, we might as well call, like, I don't know, we can't call anybody in. Are you allied to anybody? Iraq, um, Azerbaijan, but these people don't matter. They won't really help us. And we're like, well, NATO wouldn't fight her because we're not, because we're the aggressors. Algeria is invading Spain. Good work, Algeria. I believe in you. They have no military strength at all, so I'm assuming it should just be a cakewalk war. And if it's not, then come on, Algeria. They keep attacking my fleet, so I'm gonna go see if we can maybe do something over there. Got our education efficiency higher, fantastic. Uh, national focuses. Anything else? No. Copper, computer industry. Yeah, I think we need some more comments tech. Like, we're, we're pretty bad on that one. And where's the British Navy? Can't call anybody in. I keep forgetting that. So what? Are, what? Are, who are we fighting here? Well, we're fighting the Russians. I know that. But what are we fighting? Like, heavy ships. Cruisers. We don't... Like, how do I build cruisers? Can I build cruisers? Modern ballistic missile submarine to build cruisers. But it doesn't really matter because I think we just lost our entire fleet just in a second there. To the point where I'm actually just going to cancel building destroyers because apparently they're just absolute trash. So if anything, we should have saved up until we can build... Oh, well, the last transport ship. Sure, why not? Actually, we're probably going to need to build way more transport ships because I think we just lost them all. 3.3 because we just lost our entire navy, basically. Our navy isn't very good. Uh, can we get rid of... Where's, where's the rally point? If we don't have a rally point, then we can still build ships. And I feel like we're going to need at least, like, a 
hundred transports, just in case. You never know. There's the British fleet in the Irish Sea. You know, you could be probably better anywhere else. Maybe fighting the fighting the Russians here with Norway, but what exactly do I know? So the Russians are going up there. Um, like, let's look at supply limit. Like, can this guy march anywhere? I still don't understand why military access works the way it does. Like, I think I have to ask for military access from both these people. And Sweden. And then maybe we'll have enough supply limit to actually walk our way up there. No, apparently a lot is still, like, way, way too bad. Well, we can at least march a 108 stack up there. The only army that could actually maybe fight in a war? I still don't feel like we need to mobilize because... I don't think the Russians can really get at us from across like Poland and these guys, which absolutely hate the Russians. So I feel like we're mostly fine. We have a little bit of war exhaustion because we just, you know, lost a hunt like a like a ton of ships. Ethiopia oh just an there's an international crisis going on. Where? So they're back in Ethiopia. For Somalia, I'm assuming, is on the other side. Yeah, nobody cares. I would have helped you, Somalia, but... I'm kind of in the middle of a stupid war right now. So it's like a supply limit. We'll go up to Stockholm. I mean, we'll move on to Aland. If we can. With the 108 stack, we'll probably be able to siege it and basically sit there and occupy it. If you guys just stand in the mound, you should be more than alright. Thirty-eight seconds of superior infantry. That sounds like really, really terrible. But if we split this guy in half, then we should have enough supply limit to basically do anything. They're gonna take a little bit of attrition here. Disappointing, but not much we can do about that. Do these okay? These two provinces do connect, so that's good for us. As long as you just sit there occupied, do not leave the islands. They absolutely left the island. Okay. Well, you're 13. We need to get you down to 9. We just need to have a giant army sit in Aland. And then we'll be mostly fine. Uh, the government will cover. Why do these people keep losing their cows? No matter what happens, they just keep losing their cows. Norway, get the hell out of here. They're just making things worse. Actually, let's go occupy this province. They're going to Hammerfest? Okay, they're actually going to that province. Sit here then. So the Russians are basically going to be stuck in Bodo because they won't attack us from any direction. I'm going to go with, uh, we're probably not going to nuke the Russians right now. I feel like that would be maybe not in our best interest. We might be seen as a little bit of a dick if we just start nuking them. Capitals in the European core. How do I get the European core? Like, we still need the Eurozone and stuff. Economic globalization. There's a lot of things we need that do in terms of globalization. Where's economic globalization? There it is. 1990. So we can't do anything really until 1990. So there's the Finns. We'll be there on the 11th. They'll be there... Well, they're going to somewhere else. They're going like down here to fight the, the, uh, the Danish. But these guys will just be stuck here. They won't leave and they won't attack any of our armies because, uh, you know, 41 against 54 in the mounds is more, you know, more than likely suicidal. And you guys should just go to a land. Uh, we have our transports here. They're not going to be leaving at all. They are never moving. You guys go up to Kiel. So our research there is done. 
I guess military tech is getting more and more military tech. Okay, so now Norway's occupying Ness. It looks like the Finns are gonna. I mean, if we they we, they have like a negative two for a crossing, but I think if we reinforce, they lose the uh, the bonus. But like we have to show up. No, like he's still no. Okay, so it just loses the uh, the dig in cap. Okay, so Norway will leave. We're just gonna basically sit in Alon, even though it has only 90s. If it has 90s play, actually, we'll maybe take a few tanks out. Actually, that's not true. What is your supply weight? 147. Um, so it actually uses way more. 53. Or is it because the Norwegians are still here? 107. Yeah, so it actually is about a one to one. And it was 90, I think. Up to the regular troops that were supposed to be here. Oh, they're down there. You know, they can stay. The 17 just need to leave, though. So let's keep a 89 stack there. We are being attacked by the Russians up there. So we'll actually send this 18 to maybe try to reinforce here. Don't go through the hostile territory. Like, have we been duped? Call for support, call for support. Nukes enabled. War, support against communism, dictators. Well, they're not technically either. Unless there's other wars happening right now. Which actually, is there? There isn't, but... I can just buy a bunch of small arms. Buy up all the st small arms and just basically fund... The Look how many got things we're getting. Boom. Now we can spore war against, uh, I guess, I think dictatorship is probably worse at the moment. Oh, we can also bid on the Olympics. We have enough money. Yes, we will absolutely bid. Let's just become, let's rule the Olympics. Cost is not an issue. Well, if it's a hundred, that's a hundred thousand, right? How much money do we have? Yeah, we'll spend a hundred thousand on that. Have the have the greatest, um, Ukraine wants an alliance. Uh, yeah, it's for war against communism as well. So I don't know what that does. Does that like increase revolt risk in these places? Like I'm not, I'm not too too sure. Negative one. I mean our army attacks are worse. Are you going to reinforce that army? No, you're actually still standing there. You're going the wrong way, Norway. There's a battle going on up here. Now that we can't win it because there's just way too many uh, Russians. We have to leave there. So that sucked. You guys just stand here, I guess. Because, um... Yeah, that was pretty terrible. And they're leaving. They're going to go to Hammerfest. That's fine. If you go to Hammerfest, then we will just go to... Actually, are they going to Bodo as well? Yeah, a big stack is going to Bodo. Maybe they're going to try to take me on here. And the war is actually not even going in our favor. Try to ensure that all is well. Yeah, sure, why not? Everything's going great in our country. Don't worry about it. And the Norwegians are... I, I 
don't like what the Norwegians are doing. Yeah, the 210 stack of Russians in Ukra Ukraine, um... You're lucky you don't have any more Russian cores, or else you'd be a little bit screwed. I should we wish them all the best. Can I vote on the... I guess I can't vote for both. Oh, because we have no money anymore. Uh, you know, makes sense. How is this 90? We're... Supply limit's 90, we're using 90. I don't understand why we're still taking attrition, but it's fine. We'll take off, like, one artillery and hopefully things will be fine there. And everybody wants to ally. Even though we're in the middle of a stupid war, people still want to ally us. Also, this island. With how many people? With 10,000 people. More than 10,000 people have already died. For this dumb war that makes zero sense. We have a Grand Navy. That's a bit of a lie, but okay. Also, it's like, is this naval battle actually still happening? It's because it's all transports, and transports have no attack or defense value. So actually, nothing is happening there. But the British still have this giant navy they're not doing anything with. If actually, it's just a single... Where's my destroyers? If I just send a single one in there to fight... Do I not have any? I didn't lose all of them, did I? Okay, no, this, this 8 stack has a single destroyer. Which will actually fight! Oh, they actually attacked us here? How did I not know that? That feels like something I probably should have been aware of. Send our 27 troops uh, further north. Uh, 1st February. Maybe we just don't want to actually follow them. Yeah, now we're actually sinking ships because we have at least one, one boat can actually shoot. So that's good. Um, there's the Russian Navy. They're coming in, I think, with a single destroyer as well. Actually, they're not. You have 272 ships. Go, like, blockade something. Like, actually anything. Why are, you, why are your ships over here? Like, are we training ships out of this province? Like, I don't... They went this way? That doesn't make a lot of sense, but sure. Why not? What's Norway even doing? They're not doing anything that actually makes sense. Are we at least getting a ticking war score from this? No, because we actually have to occupy the entirety of... ...this stage. We need to actually occupy all three of these territories. If we don't, then we're going to have a ticking war score against us. Even though we're just trying to fight for the single island. Which obviously, you know, makes no sense. Okay, here comes the Russians. You're just going to kill those guys. Got another dig in bonus. We need, I think, like more anything that, you know, will help us. Yeah, we'll just stand here, basically, and I hope that's okay with all of you. Just very, very, very slowly move into... Th no, you're going the exact opposite way of what you should be. What province is this? Is this it's farmlands. The 11th of May, 13th of May. Where are they going? Oh, they went up here? Do even worse territory? I mean, it's a small line. And they're only infantry. But we, I, I can't nuke Finland and Russia, right? I 
Even before the first nuclear weapons developed, da 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 da. No, I, I, I don't think we can really nuke them. Hey, we actually sunk all the ships. Good work, team. We did it. Aren't we the best? Then immediately they all sank. I'm looking for uh, some prestige, I think, right now. We're going back to Oslo, which is hilly farmland. So that means we could probably engage them. And maybe win? At least somewhat? That is a lot of troops. It's a lot of guys that are surrounding our army. But I do think this is going to be the end of this video. So thanks so much for watching. My name has been Anthem. If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you're not enjoying, you can always thumb down. If you want to subscribe to see more. And goodbye.